Welcome to Glint Pixel channel. Today I will be discussing how to create responsive table with CSS. As you can see right now I have two separate views with one table, one for desktop and uh, one for mobile devices. If you want to avoid horizontal scroll on your mobile devices you can use this technique which is very easy. Before starting today's video it is requested to you please subscribe this channel and uh, press the like button. So now let's start how I did this. Let's start from HTML. I'm going to add my title here. And let's keep its name responsive table. This is our CSS path, our style sheet. Let's add some HTML structure here. Let me add a uh, title uh, before writing table structure. Let's add some content. These are country's name. Let's have a view in browser. This is what we have done so far. Now let's write some CSS. Initially, I'm going to write uh, strike. refresh our browser so it is a view uh, what CSS we have written so far now let's move forward let me try h1 title
now I'm going to write styles for my table with 100% th and td's display will be table cell you can add padding according to your requirement let's add some media query for our mobile devices Max width 767 resolution 767 px works for extra small devices like mobiles and from 768 px to almost 900 px it works for small devices like tablets and I paste it down Now I need to add columns. On before content attribute will be data th. Columns is my content which I need to display next to labels. 
font red bold Let me stretch my browser window. When it converts into mobile device, a structure is totally changed. You can notice when it is desktop view, labels are on top and content is under the labels. But when resolution touch to 767px, which is for mobile devices, labels are left aligned and content is next to labels. If your content is long, so this way you can avoid horizontal scroll. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe this channel, press the bell button, like and share as much as you can. Thank you very much. Bye.